Sausages here, all shapes, all sizes. Get your sausages. Well, hello there. Well, hello, Squirt. So, uh, what is the secret to your, uh, world's famous hot dogs? Ah, uh, yes, the secret is slowly rotating them in your hands to seal in all the juices. In your hands there, like that? Two hands. Oh, wow. Yes, Interesting. Well, I've come for your very best sausage. Well, you happen to be in luck. I just got some fine Japanese sausage in. It's a meal usually reserved for the very finest sausage connoisseurs. Very tasty. Well, uh, that sounds good, but a little bit too small for my taste. Too small? Yeah. Well, these sausages are known to support the hunger of many large families. Do you have anything European? We happen to have some fine Italian sausages. And very fashionable. Slight curve in it. Put a couple meatballs beside it. It's quite a meal. I am not sure I could handle that much meat. No. Could not handle it. No. More practice. Well, I might have something for you then. I just got some product in from the west of Africa. Wowza! That is way too big. Too much? Too much. That is big African sausage. Slides right down the palate. Really? No. On second thought, I have had a change of heart. I think I will go for a taco night. Get the hell out of my sausage. Okay. Boutique. All right, sorry we got cut off, guys. A um, little bit of technical difficulties. We had to take down the background because it was too crude for the sensors. But uh, episode two, feeling good. And speaking of good feelings, I'm pretty honored. The cast here asked me to do the monologue this week. So uh, I talked to my mom. Love you, ma. And uh, we came up with this old favorite. It's a good one. <clears throat> now is the winter of our discontent made. What? Oh, oh, I see. Well, apparently I was supposed to write my own funny monologue. <laughs> Awkward. Hang on a second there. They're trying to write some jokes here on the prompter. No, next one. Never went to math coat. Next. Uh, who, who's writing this crap? I mean, uh, priest and a rabbi. Uh, uh, oh, rabbi. Priest and a rabbi. Well, that doesn't make sense. Why would a rabbi ask a priest if he could try an altar boy sausage? Is it kosher? All beef or something? That's dumb. But uh, speaking of sausages, Oktoberfest started this weekend. Yes, that wonderful time of year when the beer flows like water and women everywhere take sausage in hand and mouth. Coincides with Thanksgiving, but here in the KW region, Oktoberfest is the forerunner. Always found it funny how the we have a parade for that instead of Thanksgiving. We'd uh, rather celebrate a German man having, liking to have affairs with Spanish dancers. Though, can we blame him? Some little girls can be quite hot. Uh, speaking of women and Germans and loving the sausage, I'm being told we have Angelina Jolie here today, everybody. Uh, really? Oh, oh, sorry. Let's read that. A Angela Bruce. Uh, she's good, too. Nowhere near as famous, but uh, twice as hot. Sorry, Brad. Telling it like it is. And uh, Trevor Goodman is also here. Yet another nobody, but uh, stick around because it's going to be a great show. Coming to you from deep in the bowels of Conestoga College, it is full frontal crudity. So, welcome to the show. We are uh, just about to get rolling. Thanks for showing up, and we are ready to go. Hi, I'm, I'm Steve. Uh, I understand you have some questions about your son Brian's report card. Yeah, um, well, if you see here, some of the comments seem to be a bit unclear. Um, in independent work, it says he often relies on other students for help. I was just wondering exactly what that meant. Yes, uh, well, it means that Brian, uh, how, how should I put this? What is it? Uh, well, he's a cheater, ma'am. He cheats off of other students' works and claims it as his own. My son, Brian. Uh, yeah, yeah, your son, Brian. Do you Brian. have proof? Uh, I do, actually. Uh, check out these two spelling, lessons, uh, spelling tests from last week. Uh, here we have Micah's test and Brian's test. And notice all these uh, 
exact same answers, mistakes and all. And here, where it should say Brian's name, he uh, copied Micah's. <sighs> so She's a very bright girl, but I mean. Why don't the comments just say what they mean then? Well, uh, the school board requires us to be uh, positive in all of our comments to uh, help encourage the children. So then here where it says that um, he's a spirit child that takes great pleasure when group work is assigned, that means? Um, he, he, he torments everyone. Students, teachers, Maggie, some nights I go home and I still see him. He haunts my dreams. <laughs> I've seen things you can't unsee. They don't teach you to deal with this in teacher's college, Maggie. I'm sure it's not that bad. Last week, the superintendent was here for one-on-one -on -one meetings with the children. When he got to Brian's meeting, he ran, screaming from the room. Is he OK? No one has seen the man since. Well, I guess I'll just take a guess at the rest of these comments. I'm assuming they're not good. Not exactly, no. Is there anything else I need to know? Well, there is the... Um, the beanbag incident. The what? Well, uh, it seems young Brian broke into the uh, storage room of the gym and stole all of our beanbags. Where did they go? Uh, we have no idea. We never actually found them. Oh! Oh, we found them! Ah, I'm here in downtown Kitchener for Full Frontal Crudity. I'm Connor Cheeseman. I'm going to get to, uh, I'm going to find out about some Oktoberfest traditions. And, uh, so what, what material is this? This is crushed velour. Velour? Yes. Hard to even find since the 70s. I'm going to Transylvania tonight, and there's a mechanical bull, and I'm going to ride it. All right. Mechanical bull, uh, great Oktoberfest tradition. So, uh, did you, uh, is this what you wear every year? No, this, this is what I wear as Iron Guts Willy. Iron okay. Guts Willy, world famous. Okay, who's Iron Guts Willy? <laughs> Iron Guts Willy, famous because I had a 15 pound cannonball shot at my belly from only 15 feet away. Really? Absolutely. So uh, we got our first celebrity interview here for uh, Full Frontal Crudity. Uh, Larry King, everybody. What do you think? What do you think about this? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. In the 2012 Guinness Book of World Records, that's out now. Yeah. I'm on page 110 for the tallest stilts ever mastered. Second celebrity interview. Boston Canadian. Good German beer. Oh, it's amazing. It's like so lovely. Yeah. 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 I wish it's continue for one month. Yeah, I wish it was one month, too. Yeah. Like St. Patrick's Day. Wow. <laughs> so, I've learned some great German Oktoberfest traditions, like riding the steel bowl, driving Mutsubushi, and drinking Molson Canadian. This is Carter Cheeseman for FFC. Good day to you all, and welcome to FFC News Live. I'm here with my co-anchor, Trevor Goodman. Trevor. Trevor! Tr come on, man. We are in the studio here, act like a professional, do your pants up, and I'm sick of finding your pornos all over the studio. <sighs> Sorry about there, that. Our first story, people using the internet at work to look up pornography. Yes, that's right, folks. 3% of Americans are watching porn at work. So good news for you there, Trevor. You're not the only sexually frustrated person in the world, but please leave it at home. No one wants that here. Looks like you're all zipped up. <coughs> Let's go. Recent survey has suggested that men may in fact fall in love faster than women. Uh, Trevor, what's up with your voice, man? You got a cold or something? No, man. I, I read online that chicks find deeper voices sexier. I'm hoping to score with that new tasty producer, Katie. Watch me work my magic. You realize that thing on your collar is a microphone, and uh, speaking quieter doesn't mean they can't hear you. Yes. Uh, well. The survey reported that 20% of men have experienced love at first sight, while just 13% of women have experienced it. The report suggests that this may be due to the fact that men are more visual than women. 
I guess that's why they keep. I guess that's why they keep. I keep getting these erections. Microphone man. Right. In other news, an El Salvadorian man was recently arrested trying to smuggle cocaine into the U.S. The man chose to try and get the cocaine into the country by inserting baggies in empty clamshells and gluing them shut. Now, this is not the first time clams have been used to smuggle drugs, although the typical variety would be the bearded clam, though they tend to be a lot easier to open. Speak for yourself, man. In other news, country legend Hank Williams Jr. got himself into a little bit of trouble last week when he compared President Obama to Hitler for playing golf with the leader of the Republican Party. He later made a statement apologizing for his remarks, saying it was a bit extreme. You think, Hank? Hitler was responsible for the death of millions in bringing Germany out of the Depression. Last time I checked, America was still in their depression. ESPN took a stand against his comments, pulling his Monday Night Football song from last week's pregame show. In other news from the sporting world, the NBA has canceled all preseason games and the first two weeks of the regular season. The public, however, had absolutely no response to this latest news, having forgotten the NBA even existed. Also from the sporting world, the latest issue of ESPN magazine contains a picture of New York's Mets player Jose Reyes swinging a bat naked. Interesting feature for a sports magazine predominantly read Nothing by males. Nothing wrong with a little naked ball play there, Pat. Also posing in the magazine, Vancouver Canuck forward Ryan Kessler. These pictures are part of their series on body issues. We have now a music video from our very own Connor Cheeseman. It's brand new and take it away, Connor. Well, how great was that, people? That was awesome. Well, that's our show for today. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you made you laugh, made you cry, made you think. Anything we could have done. And uh, thank you very much, folks. Uh, I hope it was entertaining of some sort at all. <laughs> we try our best here at Full Frontal Crudity. Uh, we'll be back next week with an all-new episode. So tune in for that, because it's going to be awesome. Don't know who's going to be host yet, but you'll find out. We'll find out. We'll let you know. And uh, you'll be here. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night. Peace I'm hungry. Out. I'm going to eat out. my breakfast.